Major League Soccer has formally announced today it will resume play this summer with the MLS is back. MLS is back. MLS is back is the name of the tournament. July 8th, circle it on your calendar. With the tournament coming up at the start of July in Orlando. Leaving a place that has protected you for three months. You were in your own bubble with your family, with looking after the ones you care for, worrying for the ones that are far away and maybe in a, in a country or in a region where it's, it's not as safe as Canada or not as disciplined maybe. So there has been a lot of different feelings. In its most basic way, I still, I loved every second of being at home with my family and you, you never take that for granted, however it comes. Obviously now as we get, as we get ready for, you know, this next, this next period, which involves, you know, being away a little bit, you know, we'll, we'll keep the, the, the positive memories of, of all that time with us and be ready to deal with whatever this next stretch brings. A healthy Toronto FC side is going to come back and play this MLS is back tournament in Orlando, Florida. It's been what, 14, 15 weeks now. And, and I, I, I think one thing that is so important is you've got a healthy squad and everybody's fit. Sí, es verdad que eh, se está haciendo larga la espera, ¿no? Del poder debutar con el equipo oficialmente. Eh, Pero bueno, las sensaciones son buenas, positivas, porque bueno, tenemos la posibilidad de, de jugar una competición oficial y bueno, y, y poder hacerlo de la mejor manera. Eh, personalmente tengo muchas ganas de, de ayudar al equipo, de poder mostrar mi mejor versión y creo que ese puede ser el camino para, para conseguir grandes cosas. Op, opa. I just hope for everyone to be to be safe and sound uh, at the end of these 90 minutes because we have seen throughout the the different leagues that have started after this uh, self isolation period that a lot of injuries have occurred. But I really want to cherish the moment that we're back on the field and not that I won't expect as much from my teammates, but I'm just going to care more for them. Number one thing, safety first, you know, so like I understand. I'm not mad about it, but I understand that at the same time. You want to take every precaution, you know, it's, you know, just for everyone to be safe. And like a prime example is like N Nashville. I think it was smart on our hand not to just do what they did and to just stay back and get tested again. So to make sure that everyone is negative. I feel like it was just handled, you know, handled right on our part. After a couple of false starts, the waiting is almost over for Toronto FC as TFC gets set to kick off the MLS is back tournament. Mosuelo in back and Ola it's Ayala Canela! What a start for TFC! Would hold possession is Alejandro Pozuelo. It's a chance for a second goal for Ayo Akinola. When you know that you're going to start, you know, that's an opportunity and that's a moment that you got to seize. Just be able to score two goals for my for my team, you know, in any way that I can do. It was a really happy moment. It's Higuain running through on his debut for DC United. Towards Burbon there who got ahead to it. And then DC have a goal from Brion. Out of nowhere, DC United tie it up. This is a game that was scheduled three times, right? So uh, depending on which side you're on, everybody has an opinion and uh, the opinions came out at the end of the game. That's it. Uh, but it's only like that because we let them back in the game. Otherwise it would have been over and nobody would have said a word. We let the combination of heat and the fact that we were up a man and all that 
allow us to relax and it, it costs us. For a, for a derby, you always want bragging rights. So you know, everybody will put, you know, give out 110%. Over, I think the intensity will be much higher than the last game. This is the, the more important game in the group. Well, Rare racing into the box here. Steps inside Sean. Richard O'Reilly has scored for Toronto FC. Here's an opportunity as the impact might be in here with a wonderful chance to level it, and they have. Piatti, he's got support from Pozuelo. Pozuelo across the line. Yeah! It's been lights up, man. It's been so, so nice to see him play at this level. All of us knew that he had this ability, and he's young, and we were just hoping it would come out, and he's showing it now. Pozuelo through to the path of Io Akinola. It's Akinola! It's incredible! Thank you, not a lot of players in the league really know Io yet. They try to put their body into Io and they find out that he's a lot stronger than, than maybe you anticipated and guys hit the ground fast. Pretty happy uh, to get a hat trick, um, but I know it's not over. Still got one more game left, so this game is in the past. I'm already thinking about the next one. Somebody asked me before the game about what I hoped for, what I hoped for our fans on a night like this, and, and for me the answer was simple. You know that that obviously, if if it were possible, we we'd have had. Uh, you know, every single one of our fans watching us live tonight, given that they didn't have that possibility, we wanted to step on the field and play in a way that they could be proud of. It's a special night, it's a big three points, it's still Toronto, Montreal, and that speaks for itself. Yo, get this guy! Ah. These nine o'clock games are are very unique. You know, you see the night games; they they have a lot of tempo to them. The morning games, not so much. It's difficult when you play two time in the morning. Uh, more more difficult than if you play in the in the evening. Basically, you getting up, getting ready, eating food, and then on the bus to go play the game. So those were a little bit challenging, but I'm proud of the way that our group uh, handled it. <laughs> Alright, listen. Let's go, right? We're ready. We've done this before. We know what it's like. We felt it. We've got it. Let's make this miserable for them. Right? Come on out. We had a lot of control and um, we were able to dictate a lot of the game. I just think, again, we're not a team that makes excuses. So I won't say the 9 a.m. kickoff and the heat and all that had a big factor to play, but for us to play as well as we have in both of those games and be pretty solid in both of those games uh, is, uh, I think, a very, very big positive for us. New England play very good. Uh, it's, uh, it was a difficult game. But the most important now, we, we, we are first in the group. We have one more day for recovery. We don't know yet which team we play, but we will we, we be ready for, for this game. We're here now, so why not just go and win it all now? We've played three games and we see the level that we're at and we know that we can give a lot more stuff. We come for win the tournament. We don't we don't come for for holiday. Now we go game by game because if uh, if you lose you go home. If you win you go to the next round. So now we need to be careful and go game by game. Congrats, a good shutout, and the 9 a.m. games are done now, right? For the brutal They're behind us, uh, way to fuck, way to fuck cut it out, stay, to, to, stay together, right? It's just such a game of moments, right? When it's hot like this, you take your moments, you got to deal with the moments, 
great stuff. All right, let's use, we've played two of these. Nobody else has played two of these. Let's take the resiliency we've built out of this, and now let's take it into the night games, into the next round. Let's be powering forward, all right? Good stuff. Man.